I created this fully functional app in a few hours and I don't know how to code. Honestly, I don't think people truly understand how powerful AI has become. Now, with the power of AI, anyone can create apps. And guess what? You can do this for free. This app is a shopping assistant app that I created to assist me when shopping. Now, as you can see, this app is hosted on Claude's artifacts. But if you stick around till the end of this video, I will even show you an app that you can use to host this app and also to add wow. in your own custom domain. Now, one problem that I have when my wife sends me shopping is I don't know which item to add to my trolley first. She will go through store specials just like this and then randomly adding things to her shopping list depending on what she needs. I'm Mohammed Asmal, an AI marketing strategist from South Africa. My viral AI tutorials on Instagram and TikTok caught global attention leading to speaking engagements in Miami and beyond. I've helped countless businesses leverage AI for growth. And now I'm here to share my knowledge with you. And if you are ready to revolutionize your marketing, join my AI Marketing Accelerator community. It includes weekly group calls, video training, and access to my AI-powered software, AILeadBuilder.com. So let's leverage AI to skyrocket your business growth together. So here's what I did. So we started off with her shopping list. Then I thought about the store layout of two stores that are in my town. So I thought about the store layout of Save Hyper and also for Super Save. And then what I did with that is I added in the store layout into Claude. And then I went back and forth with it. I added in functionality to list items in the correct order. I added in some filters. I added in some styling. And I even added in mobile responsiveness. And then eventually, I got a working artifact in Claude. Then I wanted to test if I could actually get this app on my own platform and add in my own custom domain. So naturally, I asked Claude what to do. And then it guided me along the way. I went back and forth with it until I eventually got it working and I published this as an app on a self-hosted platform. So let me show you this app in action. So as you can see on the left, I have my two stores, Save Hyper and Super Save. Then I am just pasting in a shopping list. As you can see, I just took the content from here and then I pasted it in here. Now, if I wanted to add in quantities, I can say, for example, here, I can make that three. I can make uh, this two. So I'm just showing you an example. If I wanted to add in quantities, I can do that as well. And then once I'm ready, I just click on add items. Now, as you can see, what it has done now, it has ordered all of these items into the correct store layout order for Save Hyper. Now, if I click on Super Save, you can see that the order changes. So it changes depending on what store that I choose. Now, I can even add in multiple stores if I want. I can change the functionality. I can customize this even further if I like. I just wanted to show you what is possible. Now, as you can see on the right, it even added in my quantities. So, for example, here it added in six because I chose six. But I can change this if I want manually as well. Then I can remove items if I want. I can change the sorting into alphabetical, into quantity, into checked, and into category as well. So even this is customizable as well. Then I can clear the list. I can remove uh, certain items. And then most importantly, I can actually tick off items once I add them into my trolley. So let me show you how I did it and how you can do this as well. So for this, I used Claude.ai. And as you can see, I used the artifacts feature. So all you will need to do is just go to Claude.ai and sign up for an account if you don't have one. Or even if you have one, you might not see the artifacts feature. Then all you will need to do is just click on your username in the bottom left hand corner. Then click on 
feature preview and then from here you will see an artifacts feature and you will need to toggle this on. So once you have this toggled on this will enable the artifacts feature and to explain the artifacts feature simply all it is doing here it is giving me a preview of whatever it is creating. So as you can see I have a preview option and I have a code option. So this is the code that it generated for me but with artifacts I can actually preview that code and this is a functioning app so you can test it right here and you can make changes as you want and then eventually publish it. So I simply started with this prompt. I want to create a shopping assistant app. I want to upload a shopping list and I want you to categorize them in the correct departments and thereafter order my list in the layout of the store. Ask me any clarifying questions if you need. And then as you can see, Claude gave me some clarifying questions. I answered them and then we got to work. Now you will notice there were many errors that I encountered along the way. So I'm not saying that you will get a functioning app immediately. You will have to go back and forth with it. And the best part is if you want to solve these errors, all you need to do is just copy and paste in this code into Claude and tell it that this is the error that you are getting. Or you can even take a screenshot of this and then upload that screenshot and Claude will understand your screenshot and it will help you to solve the errors. So as you can see, I went back and forth with this. I encountered many errors and we started off with a bare bones assistant just like this and I carried on iterating and I went back and forth, back and forth, encountered more errors and Claude helped to debug the errors. And as you can see, this is actually a very, very, very long thread. But eventually we did get to a working app. But one thing you will notice throughout my conversation with Claude is I'm not using any uh, high terms or coding terms. I am simply giving it simple instructions exactly how I would communicate. So the key with AI is not being able to code or not being a marketer or not having any qualifications. All you need to do is you need to understand how to communicate with the AI. And that is not something that you should actually copy and paste because my communication style may be different to yours. Now, if you continuously copy and paste my prompts or anyone else's prompts for that matter, you are actually doing yourself a disservice. You need to train yourself and become equipped on how to actually communicate with the AI. And that is what is going to make you successful and become better at AI. So it's simply about communicating. So as you can see, I even went through a dark mode and I actually uploaded uh, this screenshot of a app that I liked. And then I simply asked it to make it look something like this and add the stores horizontally at the top. So as you can see on the right, it actually did that. So I continuously went back and forth until we got something that was working. The only frustrating part of this whole process is Claude's conversation limits. This happens to me all the time and Claude uh, actually tells me that I've reached my limits and that I need to wait for a few hours before I can use Claude again. So that is really frustrating. And what actually ended up happening in this thread, because it was so long, I eventually got this error. So as you will see, it says your message will exceed the length limit for this chat. Try shortening your message or starting a new conversation. And no matter what I tried by shortening my message, I still got this error. So eventually what I had to do was I just copied the last functioning version of the app and then I opened a new thread with Claude and then I started from scratch. So I just pasted in that working version and then I just continued with the instructions and it worked from there. So I actually had to use two chat threads to actually get this to work. But eventually I did get it to work. And once I was happy with it, I just clicked on publish. 
So all you will have to do is in your bottom right hand corner, just click on publish. And then now this will allow you to publish your app. So as you can see now, I can unpublish this or I can copy the link. So all I did was I copied that link and that is the app that you see here. And as you can see in the bottom right, it says that this is a cloud artifact. And it says artifacts are user generated and may contain unverified or potentially unsafe content. Because remember, this artifacts was created by me according to my instructions. So Claude is just giving us that warning and using this as a disclaimer. So that is how I have a published Claude artifacts app. But then I wanted to test this even further. I wanted to see if I could actually get this app on my own domain and add in more functionality because remember although this is really powerful there are still some limitations in cloud artifacts so for example i can't add in certain functionality so initially when i started this what i wanted to do was i didn't want to copy and paste in the shopping list i actually wanted to allow it to upload an image and then it should automatically read that image and then order my shopping list without me having to copy and paste the items but as you can see i encountered this error as it said unsupported libraries or icons detected because for this functionality i needed to add in an ocr component and that doesn't work with the cloud artifacts feature so you will be able to get some functionality, but if you want more advanced functionality, then you will actually have to do it on another platform. So that is when I started testing out Replit. So this is the app that I use. You can just go to replit.com. You can sign up for a free account. And then what I did was in Claude, I simply asked it, I want to create this app on my own domain show me the steps to add it to Replit. And then I said, PS, I am not a coder, so give me thorough instructions so that I can just copy and paste the code. And here again, we went back and forth. I had many errors. Sometimes when I added in the code, it worked. Sometimes it didn't work because here in Replit as well, you will be able to see a web preview on the right-hand side. So you will know whether your code is working or not. And I went back and forth, as you can see, for a long time to eventually get it working in Replit. And I used Claude to assist me every step of the way. And then when I encountered problems, I just uploaded screenshots or I just copied and pasted in the errors here. And then Claude assisted me to sort out those errors. And the great thing about Replit is now if I wanted to add in that OCR functionality, I can do this because now I can add in external sources here as well. So if I wanted extra functionality, this will allow me to do that. And then once I was happy with what I got working in Replit, all I need to do is just click on a new tab. And then now this opens it up into a new tab. As you can see, it gives me a generic URL that ends with .replit.dev. Now, if I wanted to add this to my own custom domain, then I just click on the deploy button here. But now you will notice I have to upgrade to actually add in my own custom domain. And if I click on upgrade, you will see we have a yearly option, which is $120 per year. Or I can choose a monthly option, which is $20 per month. So as you can see, now it is easy for anyone to create apps. You can get started with artifacts as it is great at bringing your ideas to life. So you can now create a minimal viable product in no time. So you are now only limited by your imagination. I just used a simple example here of a shopping list, but you can create anything that you can think of and you can use Claude to actually assist you throughout the whole process. So the barrier to entry for anyone to create apps is now minimal. So let me know what you plan on creating with this feature. And as I said earlier, if you want to know more about AI and marketing, 
join my AI marketing accelerator community. You will find the link to my community in my bio or in the description of this video. Hit the like button if you found this video useful. And if you want to learn more about AI and marketing, then check out this video. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this.